Why in the fuck is my wife standing on the bed? <laughs> it's one hell of a way to get out of bed. <laughs> hey look, I'm like you, honey. Jumping on the bed, jumping on the bed. Jumping on the wife. Oh, that's how I make sex. There you go, honey. Let me get on you. Oh, yeah. This is good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, all over my lady. Uh, 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 uh. What if I can scare her? Look at her. I'm gonna shoot all over you. Damn. Don't stay, stay, don't stay out there. Get back on her. That's what I say when I'm in the bedroom. Get back on her, Paul. Ride that woman. It's like a horse. When you fall off, you gotta get back on or you get gun shy. Uh, am I walking through her? I'm kinda walking through her dress. That's creepy as fuck. Alright, let's do a mission. Love you, baby. Honey baby pies. Hmm. That's pies that are made of delicious babies that you put honey in. What the fuck? Dear, get the fuck off my farm! It's my farm. You won't be buying it for your deer developments. No deer park fun land. Fuck off. That's what I think. What the hell am I doing? Let me take my high power pistol out. Because I'm a high powered man. Woohoo. Come back between 5 and 6. 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. No. I'm not going to. LP over forever. I am the king of the barn. The tallest thing rules. I rule you all. I rule all that I can see. And now, to play Assassin's Creed. I've done my... Oh, I gotta do my 360 view. Ready? Now to jump into a bale of hay. Oh, it worked. Excellent, now they won't find me. <laughs> well, I ain't never noticed this before, so I went inside the barn and it says, Oh my son, my blessed son. Ah, that's sweet. Even though Jack's a little moody. I don't blame him though, he's had a tough life. Strangers come take me away. I would be a little messed up too. I already am a little messed up and nobody took me away. Won't you take me away, Calgon? I need delicious clean dishes. Remember when I fucked up the uncle in here? Wait, that sounds wrong. I mean, when I burned him. That's wrong too. Hello, Pootie. Pootie, where's my... I'm trying to look down the poop hole. Is there anybody in there? Hello? There better be no turd burglars in there. Why is there... Is there wood in there? The outhouse doesn't work. You gotta have a pit to poop in. If there's just a wood floor in there, it's not really gonna work well. They're like, we need to save our poops for later. Watch me ramp this. I'm awesome! Shh. Probably still isn't 5 a.m. Oh, it's 5 a.m. The last enemy that shall be destroyed. What's up, Jack? Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother we'll do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Nope. I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but... I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. What's up, Rufus? I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! 
Come here. What do you want, old fart? Take a look at that. What? Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! That don't bode well. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Oh my god! Shit! There's still time for you to run, old man! Uh, give me a... No, no, I don't have it. No, no, this cover shit. This cover shit. Better cover. Okay, there we go. That's better. Ah, oh, fuck. It's my own fault. I had shit cover to start with. There's still time for you to run, old man. Where's my damn horse? You can't go in the barn. What the hell? No, 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 I wanted to go in the barn for cover! It sucks! Stay away from my family! Alright, why do I have this stupid fucking bolt action thing? Great, now I'm gonna die because the game switched my weapon. No, I don't... Nothing against the bolt action, but it's just it's too slow to get stuff off and reload. Alright, give me a second, I'll get in the house. Man, I got shot the fuck. Go check on your family, boy. I'm doing it, old top. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Well, they don't want to be nice, I reckon. Come on. Oh, it's bad jobs on my part all around. Oh, fuck. Might as well just not try. There we go. <laughs> that was a whole hell of a lot of embarrassing. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. You ain't gonna take us. I don't think we can take out the army. See you, Gramps. Now let him go. Use him as a shield. Use him as a human shield, kid. Come on, you assholes, leave my family alone. I'm just try to. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fuck. Where's that guy? Oh shit, I shot Jack! Sorry, kid. Bad. You see me shoot my own kid? I'm a terrible father. Suck it. I don't think Uncle's gonna make it. There, Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and. Have it. <laughs> Take them in. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Let's get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We gotta roll, boy. 
He did pretty well, though. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Ain't no time for grieving. Unless you can fight the army by yourself, lady. I'll grab the gun. Bye, Uncle. Quick, this way. I'm late for the Oh board. shit, oh shit, oh shit. There's more coming down the hill. This can't be happening. I see him. You be just happening. Come on. You think I <laughs> love that guy. That was awesome watching his body skin just fly across the way. Hit that horse. It didn't do nothing to me. It's really a slave to the humans. Stay down! Nobody moves till I say so. I'll cover him on foot. Make a run for the ball! Let's go! Move! Go, woman! Right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Now, quick! Run for it! Yeah, suck that, nuts. Suck it, bitch. You suck it, too. There's a whole world of suckitude coming at y'all. I'm gonna shoot your horse. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. <laughs> Sucks to be all y'all, bitches. America, get the fuck. Oh, you horse. That horse. I didn't, I didn't expect. No, you horse. Stop. Stop. The horses are my weakness. <laughs> Holy fuck, I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe those horses were what almost did me. <laughs> oh my word. I'm gonna go around back, I can't run through the park. I can't believe those fucking horses were almost the end of me. Hey! Come on. Now listen. Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going! You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! Bye, kid. And lady wife. Uh, I'm not here. I moved. Nobody here. I'm just a cow. Moo. I hope I don't have to duel. I don't remember how to duel. Shit. Fuck you, Edgar.
Oh, man. Poor kid. And wife. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Yeah, you better hope the army's cleared off. He doesn't have any weapons. Alright, you little fucky horse. I never noticed before that said blessed are the peacemakers on there. I don't think they mean cult peacemakers. Case it's hard to read. That's Abigail Marston. No more filthy whore. No more mom and dad. There's their graves. John and Abigail and Uncle. Jack's all grown up. Bureau uniform will make me immune to all law enforcement. Hmm. Now it's not the time for them to be like new items are available at the store. He just watched his dad die, and then this is many years later. It's the sad poetic, poetic ending to John's tale. New items are available at the store! Well, I don't remember exactly... I, I know what has to happen next, I just don't remember exactly how to get to it. Hey everybody, well I couldn't remember where to go, so what I did is I just rode due east to Blackwater, and I, I think I'm in the right area now. I kind of landed on a lamp post. Hey, is that Filthy Whore? Hey, Filthy Whore Jr., I guess? You need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want the results. Won himself a chest full of metal. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> Thank you for the information, mister. Why is he just standing in the rain? <laughs> Maybe it would be less of a dump if he actually bothered to go inside. Maybe he can't afford a house. He just lives here at the station. Alright, let's see. Lake Don Julio. Don Julio. Where is it? Oh, Alright, it's way down here. I will meet you all there. Alright, we traveled all the way here to the lake. On the chance, off chance you don't know, Don, or Don, Don Julio's the lake. <laughs> That's why I'm coming to murder the lake. 
Edgar Ross is the uh, guy who set her dad up and murdered him. He's smoking the cigar. How do you do, young man? What are you doing, lady? <laughs> what the fuck? Just passing through, are you? What? First of all, you must have amazing strength in your legs. Secondly, why are you sitting like that, peeping at the wall of your own thing? Were you bad and you had to punish yourself? Filthy whore, can you believe this lady? That's a little Excuse better. Me, Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. I just want to give him a letter. By letter, I mean bullets. I mean a letter of bullets. <laughs> Let's go, filthy whore. She's still sitting that way. It would be wrong for me to kill his wife. He did take from us everything we had, but that seems a little... I'm so tempted to, but... Right. Oh, he's down in Mexico. Rio del Toro. Is that the river of the bull? I don't know. Alright, I'll meet y'all down there. Perdido. I thought it was Periodo. Hola, amigos. How y'all doing? Switch back to my old skull field. When I have to duel him, I'm gonna fuck it up because I don't remember how to duel. <laughs> so it'll be a little anticlimactic. Oh, you're not Rufus. You're a fox. Excuse me, friend. Are you Edgar? Oh, no. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits. Coyote. Elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Of I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off, then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Thank you. All right, let's go find Edgar Ross. Edgar Ross. Um, Edgar Ross. I get up to the river. Look out! Haha, <laughs> you can't catch me, you slutty animals with giant vagina holes. Ah, here we go. New horse. Let's attack Edgar Ross, horse. Right, where is he? Whoa, whoa! Horse attack! Raw! Armadillo, look out! Oh. Hi. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well! 
I ain't going nowhere, old man. No. Oh. You suck, Edgar Ross. We should've just shot him as soon as we saw him. Fuck the tutorial. I don't even know what I'm doing. Never knew before. Yeah, suck it, Edgar Ross. You go die with the fishes. Your fish food. Schofield wins! That was my song for the Schofield. Tonight it's gonna lay in my bed with me. We'll make sweet, sweet love. That gun murdered a lot of people. Have fun in hell. It reminds me of the original uh, Red Dead. That end shot there. We did it! High five yourselves all around. Steve Martin was a producer? Like the wild and crazy guy? Probably not. If he was watching this LP, he'd probably be like, thanks, everybody thinks I'm not Steve Martin. I want to thank anybody who watched this. If you watched every episode, I want to shake your hand. This I started this LP, it feels like, a year ago. I started this LP, like, at the beginning of the year, I think. Maybe in the first quarter. It's taken me forever to finish. This is an awesome, awesome game. I probably didn't do this game justice. It's one of the first console games I've recorded, so I've had some problems figuring out the tech stuff, but I love this game. Oh, a tear for the song. It's kind of sad, though. I, I love John Marston. He's an awesome character. Jack got his revenge at the end. Everybody's dead. It's a good story. That's what I didn't like about Grand Theft Auto 4. The story sucked. This one had a great story. So, if you wrote the story for this game, you're awesome. Give yourself high five. <laughs> like, just like that, then you're cool. Why the fuck not? It was fun, though. And I appreciate all y'all. All y'all, 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 y'all. All y'all who watch my LPs. The ones who comment and even the ones who don't, who just kind of peep and watch. I don't know what's next, but, um... Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Adios, muchachos.